hi guys welcome back to my channel for today we're gonna be doing the soft um like sultry flirty kind of look um you know it's a valentine's look and yeah go ahead and keep watching if you want to achieve this look the iconic the little water mist this smells so freaking good and it's like really really glowy I always like to begin with my eyebrows that so just that works better for me I always like to um put just like a little bit right here in the back of my hand and then for today for my eyebrows I really love using the color pop ones they're really good and then to blend it out I love using this little buffer brush it's by morphe it's the m173 this shit is so good it's just to um, diffuse all of your concealer that we just applied right now. So it, looks, so it looks like, you know, like your eyebrows are natural, like we didn't just fucking try really hard right now. So you could either leave your eyebrows just like this, like concealed if we're not going to do a lot of makeup. But since today we are going to do a little bit more... Um, I wouldn't say dramatic because it's still going to be really soft but we are going to be doing a little more just so that you make them look a lot more natural I always still add a little bit more product once I'm done with my whole face just to, to make sure that everything evens out that my eyebrows aren't too light or that they aren't too dark but i always like to leave them light because you could always go darker but it's a lot harder to go lighter to like dim them down so i always like to start with light eyebrows then we're gonna go ahead and start prepping our face um i always like to go in with the little the elf the elf the oil control and i do that kind of like in my t-zone just like this little area right here i'm like really confusing um i'm really dry in this area over here but then like right here i'm super super oily so i always add this just in case because then we do do like a harder moisturizer i'm gonna go in with the tart the what is this called the timeless soothing primer so we're gonna go in with this for like this little area and then I'm gonna go in with the Becca Ever Matte, just literally like right here, like two dots right here. I really, really like this primer. It leaves your skin like really um smooth. It gives you a really smooth base for you to start working. So literally, this is like how much I use of the Becca one because it's really, really matte. And since I'm I'm only oily here and I'm really like dry over here. So I have to keep this like right here. All right, so let's continue. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Since I wanna be like really glowy, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more of the iconic. Okay, we're gonna let that dry off a little bit. And lately i've been doing my concealer before my actual foundation and i kind of like it a little bit better just depends how i feel and then for concealer we're gonna be using the fenty and i use mine in the shade 310 so now we're just gonna blend it out i always like to start i know a lot of people always start like right here and blend it outwards i don't like doing that i always like to start right here like at the little edges just to make sure that it like diffuses all the way but i mean right now we don't have any foundation so it doesn't really matter how you do it but i just kind of do whatever's left over over here and i'm gonna go in with the maybelline this is a super stay this shit is so fucking good like i like it better than a lot of the high-end ones and it's like medium coverage you could build it up to be full coverage but i don't like full coverage so this one is really really good it's like right in the middle After I'm done applying my foundation, I always like to apply it with a brush 
so then i just like to go over with my sponge just to make sure that there's like no streaks and that everything is completely blended and then we're gonna go in with a little bit more concealer just to like highlight the actual face once again going in with fenty and this time i do like a little bit less but i bring it down a little bit more so that, and then my nose I still haven't learned how to contour my nose so i just highlight it just kind of hide the fact so i just kind of focus it on this little area over here i found the forehead and then i always like to start around the rest of my face and leave this for last that way it gets a little bit more tackier oh and then i forgot I actually prepped my eyes with concealer as well, so I forgot. So this is what I mean that I like to start at the edges of the concealer and not straightforward over here. Because then it just makes it easier to blend it out and then it kind of focuses all the product over here. Because I feel like when you start over here, you drag it more over here and I just, I don't like that always like to bring my concealer a little bit to like the side of my nose again to like help contour it all right and then now to set we're gonna go with the rcma this shit is my favorite i have tried so many like baking powders the the laura one the mm, ben nye ben nye does not work for me that shit makes me crusty but this one is really really good and it's like really like thin like it's like bien delgadito so it doesn't go on like too cakey or anything like no matter how much you put it does not look cakey and use this kind of like as a base so that our eyeshadows blend really really good a lot of people don't set their their eyelids but like i can't do my eyeshadow like if i do my eyeshadow without um setting my eyelids it will look super patchy and it doesn't blend out real like i, I can't powder i always like to concentrate it here because this is where i get oily the most so i always like to do a little bit extra here and then leave it a little bit longer as well and for today's eyeshadow it's gonna be something like really simple you don't have to do all out like we're literally gonna do like three or four eyeshadows at most okay so then to stop the excess powder from our eyes and i want it to be like a very like baby pink soft pink kind of look and then we're just gonna do like a little bit of shimmer so i'm gonna go in with this little like baby pink i'm gonna go in with like this little like baby pink um color from the morphe 35b palette if you guys are looking for a colorful palette i really recommend this one it's really cute and it's a lot cheaper than the james charles and it kind of has like the same colors that one obviously has more so then let's go ahead and get started and if you guys don't have this this shit is so good like i think they have like a lot of little knockoff brands i don't know what brand this is i don't know what brand it is i lost a little lid to it but it's so good to just clean out your brushes so like yesterday i think i did brown so then that way i don't have any like transfer from yesterday's interfering with today start and we're gonna use this kind of like as our transition color go in with one of the tart ones um we're gonna go in with like it's like a mauve kind of color that's the r40 now we're gonna go with the luxie 227 for blending and then we're gonna focus it just kind of like in this inner corner and then i'm just gonna take um this little bit darker mauve pink color now that we have our pinks going on we're gonna go in with just a tiny bit of brown and we're gonna go in with rustic from the soft glam palette and we can even see my shit is so beat up like that so embarrassing so we're just gonna take a little bit of the rustic color and we're gonna do it again in the little outer v okay 
so now that we have that we're gonna do i didn't want to do glitter but we are because we'll go in with nyx they have like these little i don't know if they still sell them because i've been looking for them and i haven't found them anywhere but they have like these little is it this one they have like these little rolling eyeshadows and last time that i was cleaning out my makeup i found it and they're so fucking good literally just like glitter and the little thing like the little like lipstick or something and it is a little bit messy so i try not to move it i'm gonna grab a little bit of the um, glitter and put it onto an actual brush and then i'm just gonna spray it with the iconic so it has even more glitter to it. Now let's move on with the other eye and you know what I'm actually gonna prep this eye first with the little I'm gonna do that first so that when I roll this on there that's that we're done with the eyeshadow part see it's like really soft it's really simple but it still looks cute it's just still snatched or whatever so now we're gonna go continue with the face um and we're gonna start by bronzing up the face i'm not removing this still just because i got super oily so i'm gonna just leave that there and then plus right now that i bronze it'll start taking some of it off anyway and I freaking love this little like Morphe. I don't know if they sell a big size of it, but I always find this at Ulta. So if they if they do have a big one, like let me know. I have no idea, but this shit is so good. It's like really, it's not too orange and it's not too red and it's not too like cool tone. It's like the perfect tone if you're like a medium tan color. I'm gonna start with the outer parts of our face. And I always like to start off with a tiny, tiny bit and then just diffuse it and then just slowly keep adding so that you don't have like one straight muddy line. And then I like to do the sides of my forehead. I don't really bring it up over here because I have a small forehead. So I just do it like on the sides to kind of give the illusion that my head is like a little bit more um, like higher. And then I just bring it like to the super, super tops over here. just keep bronzing until you feel like you are bronzed enough for yourself i personally love to do hella bronzer so that's just what we doing good morning mamas good morning babies good morning baby girl good morning <laughs> she's so cute okay so that's that and that was just bronzing to actually contour i like to go in with the Anastasia contour powder or powder bronzer um in the shade shade in the shade set and then i love using this one oh i didn't even tell you guys about my brush this shit is so good it's the morphe m 436 i think they have this one for like foundation but i fucking love using these kind of brushes to bronze just because it makes everything look so fucking smooth and like so blended and then to actually focus the contour i like to go in with this one it's the r10 this shit is so good super good now we could go ahead and remove all of our that and then with whatever i have left over with the brush like i said i still don't know how to contour my nose so i just honestly do the bottom part and i just kind of on the sides of whatever with whatever is left over okay and then that's all of our bronzing if you really want to make your bronze like your like cheekbones more defined and i only i usually just do this when i have like my hair all the way up um i like to just bring right now i'm only doing with whatever's left over on the sponge but you know you could do add some more powder and then just define the cheeks you know all right moving on we are gonna go in with highlight I always like to start with highlight instead of blush because I feel like 
the blush is what helps uh, blend out the highlight so i always do my highlight and then you know bring in my bl my blush to kind of blend the contour and the highlight together and then before i didn't use to wear brush i um, brush i didn't use to wear blush but lately i've been liking it so you know trying new things and then to highlight i have two favorite brushes i have of morphe of course the 510 and then this is the real techniques is it no royal and langnickel and it's in the highlight and glow i think it came in like a little set of three i think it was three different highlighting brushes but i don't know where the fuck they're at and it's in the bmd 265 but this one is really good i kind of like this one to focus and then this one to like blend it out they're super super good all right, and then to begin, we're gonna go in with Ofra Rodeo Drive. This shit is my favorite highlighter ever. We're gonna take a good amount and then just kind of focus it on the highest point. And I don't know if you notice that sometimes when you do your highlighter, you go like that and everything just like fucking flies away. Um, I always like to hold it in place and then just kind of shake it to make sure that it stays. And then I go ahead and blend it out. I forgot um before I do highlight I always like to set my face first so with all the powders and stuff so it's not super dry and then that way when I apply the highlight it looks a lot more um like seamless it looks a lot more like like your skin and I bring my highlight I do all of this and I kind of bring it down a little bit to like the highest point so that when you smile you know it still shines through a little bit so let me just set my face real quick no we're gonna keep using that iconic so that we're glowy and whatnot i'm gonna drench ourselves a little bit and then i like to go in with my with my little sponge just to make sure um that it goes on like evenly because you know how sometimes you spray it and then it'll leave like the little dots so where it landed so i always go in with this just to make sure that it doesn't leave any of that all right and then let's go ahead and continue with highlight um since i am wearing more like a pinky kind of color i'm gonna go in with ingla this is the sparkling dust for face eyes and body this shit is so good it's like actually, let me show you it's just like um a powder powder uh like pigment kind of highlight well it's not even like a highlight it's for like so many uses and like i've used this as eyeshadow as freaking like little things or to make my to make my shoulders glow it's really cute i like it but with this i like to go in with a really tiny brush and so i like to go in with another little morphe one it's like an eyeshadow brush but i like to use it for this i can't find it so it looks something like this so i'm just gonna go in with this one here and then i'm going to dab like it like the slightest amount because this shit is like super pigmented and then we're gonna go ahead like look at this shit this shit is super pigmented all right and then this is where we bring in the blush to kind of blend everything together so let's go ahead and apply our blush i'm gonna use the tarte um the amazonian clay and party and i like to use these kind of brushes um this is the luxi dual fiber powder um this one is really good too for the blush i like it because it's a lot bigger so it picks up a little bit less product since i don't like a heavy blush and then i dig in there and still like um you know tap the excess and then we do it kind of right here right in the middle of our concert and our highlight good on blush 
and then once again we're gonna go ahead and set the whole face but this time we're gonna set it with the actual like all nighter and once again we're gonna go in with our sponge just blend everything out let's see we're looking glowy already and now we're just gonna finish the bottom part of our eyeshadow and add some lashes and then add a lipstick and we are good so i'm gonna go back in with this with the pink that we started with and then we're just gonna take a kind of a small but like little fluffy uh blending brush and then just kind of drag that on the bottom portion of our eye so in our our lower lash line okay so let's go back in with that little like mauve color for the outer portion as well we're not bringing it in just the outer portion This shit is my niece's, and so obviously it's made for kids. This shit hurts the fuck out of my head. Pero aquí ando con mis pinches orejitas. Because it looks cute or whatever. Alright, and now we're just going to add a little bit more of the brown. And instead of adding the light brown that we used in the crease, I'm actually going to go in with the darker one. Just to like really define my eye. then that's all for the bottom eyeshadow part honestly i just added whatever mascara i don't know which one this is they sent it to me in boxycharm it's the wander beauty unleashed so, whatever I legit don't have lashes like tengo tres minches pelos and that's it so we need like fake lashes and then make sure that you some people don't like it i personally do just because it makes my eyeshadow look better it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger um i like to do mascara on the bottom lash line i just feel like it looks better okay and then we're gonna go in and highlight our inner corner real quick and we're gonna go with that same like pigment that we used to highlight We're pretty much done. We just need to add our lashes and lipstick. Uh, for lipstick, I think I'm just gonna do like lip liner and some gloss. Okay. Let's press on it. Okay. So then now we're gonna line. Up. All right. So we're gonna line our lips with the Morphe lip liner, and this one is in Love Bite. It's just kind of like this nude brown, mauvey kind of color. have our lipstick going on either you could just leave it like this i personally always just wear lip liner i don't even wear lipstick um i just be wearing this and then you could probably top it off with like a cute little lip gloss um i would probably recommend the fenty lip gloss let me see if i can find it okay so i found my lip gloss we're just gonna do some fenty gloss See how like that shit is just so pretty. <gasps> so our makeup looks super bomb. These are the Devious lashes and they're some mink lashes. So it's just like really simple, like really, they look really wispy. All right. So then we're gonna go ahead and add our eyelashes. Um, I love using the duo glue, the stick one. This shit is so good. So I always like to apply the glue and just like let it dry off a little bit so it's a little bit tacky. So when you apply it, it's not like flying off or the glue doesn't get in your eye or anything. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. Um I always like to kind of start at top, like close my. So 
so after we have the lash on i always like to go in and like squeeze them so that my real lashes blend in with the fake lashes okay so now let's apply our other one and we are fucking done and there we go so this is the finished look um i added the lashes for lip gloss i changed my outfit um and yeah this is it thank you guys for watching um, let me know what other videos you guys want to see and